Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter your records directly into your register. The stuff I show you is going to be, uh, will apply if you're entering into your checking account, your savings account, your credit card, your loan. I just, I feel like sometimes not everything downloads from the bank like it's supposed to, or there's a weird situation where you just need to go make an entry. I thought it'd be important that you knew how to do it. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't care how you get there. I'm just going to go chart of accounts. I'm going to go to my checking account and I'm going to click on view register. However you want to get to your register is just fine with me. If you want to flip between registers, you can just click on this at the top and then toggle down to whatever other register you're working on. To add something to your register, you're going to want to click on where on my screen it says add deposit. If you click the drop down to the right, it'll give you a menu. If you click on add deposit, it's, it's automatically going to create the space for you to work. And so you, you can choose, do you want to click on the selection that QuickBooks has given you? Or, or do you want to click on something else? Uh, maybe you prefer to enter an expense or a transfer, whatever the case is. So let me just show you, we'll make a deposit first. You can click on the calendar and choose the date, or you can just type it with your keyboard. I'll often type stuff with my keyboard and then press tab to move to the next field. So I'm making a deposit. I know that because it says add deposit. I'm not going to have a payee. I'm going to skip the memo. I'm skipping all this. I'm not going to enter money in the payment column because when I deposit money, I am depositing it. So it's going to go in the deposit column. Let's make it $1,000. If I try to save now, QuickBooks is going to say no. Like, why are you depositing the money? Where does it come from? It doesn't come from thin air. So you have to select which account it comes from. Uh, let's scroll down and see if I can find something interesting. Um, services. It's going to come from services income. So I'm going to select save. I've now added a deposit to my register. I can click the drop down and make an expense. I can do that on a different day. I can record a reference number if I have one. I don't need to. The payee. Let's use Adobe. Uh, pay Adobe, what is it, 20 bucks a month? And then for the reason or the expense account, um, in my QuickBooks, I have it in there as software. In this QuickBooks, uh, my sample, I have office expense, so I'm going to choose that. I'm going to go ahead and say save. If for some reason you want to enter everything manually and you like this and this is comfortable, that's totally great. You can do exactly what you've seen me do. If you need to add an account that doesn't appear on the list, at the very top of this drop down, you can click on add new and then fill in the account that you need. Or you can go back to your chart of accounts. In the upper right hand corner, you can click on the green new and then add the account that you need. So maybe you need to add your savings account or your credit card account so you can then add stuff to that register. This is a place you can do it. In real life, I don't manually add very much. Only when QuickBooks has a hiccup and it doesn't download everything I need, I'll go and add it manually and then move on with my day. If this happens to you, or if you have a strong preference to not connect your bank account and you really want to add stuff manually, this video is for you. Just showing you how to do it. All right. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to chat one on one, I'm the person who does the training at Gentle Frog. If you need to outsource your bookkeeping, then it's myself and Megan and we're both available to help you. Okay, have a good day.